créé en 2007 à Londres, Aiken, du nom d'un personnage imaginaire créé par Richard Henshaw lors d'une soirée bien arrosée, est devenu au fil des ans l'une des références du métal progressif, ainsi que l'un des groupes préférés de Mike Portnoy, ce qui revient à peu près au même. Ayant atteint les sommets avec la sortie en 2013 de leur album The Mountain chez Inside Out Records, et après avoir engagé leur nouveau bassiste Connor Green, nous avons rencontré le groupe fan de Pizza, de Bacon et de Nicolas Cage lors de leur concert à la boule noire. We, we always are in speed, but this time I think it's the uh, speediest one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so you're fresh off the stage. Hello to you, uh, Eken. So hello, Rich. And hello, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Sorry. Charles. Hello, Charles. Yeah. Richard. Richard et Charles. Bonjour à Richard et Charles. Bonjour. From Eken. You're fresh off the stage. How was uh, this gig? Well, it was. Oh, it's an amazing gig. Like, the French crowd were massively energetic. It really kind of pumped us up to play what I think is one of our best shows on the tour. So it's been been a lot of fun. one of our best shows ever yeah. I would say I mean it's like what you, you know if the audience are having fun you have fun yeah, on stage so, and these guys were really giving us a lot of energy and it was awesome yeah so what are the news from uh, Aiken you have a new bassist and you picked him, picked him up uh, by uh, Facebook it's a it's pretty unusual what what uh, what's the story around that Yeah, we decided to host some auditions via our Facebook page. And uh, we, we asked people to submit a video of themselves playing a cover of one of our technical pieces called Portals from the album Visions. And also a, a kind of interpretation of Because It's There from our latest album, The Mountain. And uh, we got about 40 applicants in the end. basically picked our favorite six from that 40 and we invited them to London for a live live audition yeah yeah and uh, Connor actually came from he's from Indiana in the USA so he kind of uh, came the furthest of anyone which kind of showed us a lot about his kind of dedication to being playing music and uh, he's only a very young guy um, he's actually a, stu a student Uh, University of Indiana, jazz bass student, but he came over and totally nailed his audition. And he just slotted right in, it just felt like the right guy, you know. It's, and tonight's gig, I mean, this is his. Uh, Third gig, third show, yeah. third show with us, and pretty, pretty good for yeah. a third show. <laughs> yeah, he, feels, he looks so natural on stage, and yeah. his style of playing really locks in well with our music. So, yeah, you know, it feels feels right, doesn't it, on stage? So, yeah, I think he, he knows it better than us at this point, which is yeah. <laughs> pretty 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 embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> But he's we, amazing. We yeah. hate him actually. Hate yeah. Him. yeah. yeah. After the tour, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> no, we're gonna you know do everything in our power to make it happen, and um, yeah, we'd love to you know, create an album with him and take it further. Yeah. Est-ce que tout va bien? Le son, le truc, ça va le son? C'est pas trop? Il y a pas trop de monde derrière là? Okay, there's a little bit. Some people uh, <laughs> are speaking, but uh, ah, okay. no, that's okay. We will, we will. Uh, so, <laughs> so can you tell us um, a little bit uh, about the concept and spirit? Uh, nice T-shirt about the concept and spirit uh, <laughs> of your band. Um, oh, 
Oh, perhaps. Mm. It's a tough one, man. I mean, we, we all have a passion for music. We all come together and we, you know, share our passion for music through Haken. And, um, you know, we, in terms of the composition, we try not to have any boundaries. We just to, you know, like to write what we want to hear and just just let the music guide us, really. And that's our philosophy and uh, kind of guidance through the whole composition process. But, um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to add to that. Well, it's just, I mean, it's great. I mean, every, every musician wants to have, like, a home, a musical home. And for me, this is, couldn't be more perfect. You know, I, my kind of uh, two favourite bands, you know, at the moment, and have been for years, have been, say, like Gentle Giant, it's one of my favourite bands. <laughs> The other side of the spectrum is Meshuggah. Uh, which I love both styles equally. And with Haken, I get to kind of ex express both of those sides of my kind of musical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, because it's kind of like the meeting of the modern and the old. I think naturally that's the way it's come about, really, with our music. You actually coined a good phrase, didn't you? Did I? Gentle, gentle giant with a, with a oh, D. Yeah. It only like, works when it's written down. Yeah, so it doesn't, it's a, doesn't work. <laughs> gent meets gentle giant. Is, uh, <laughs> gentle giant, yeah. But it's uh, kind of lost its charm. It's, a, it? it's a written down joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll write it down. Yeah. Perhaps you can write it down. No. You've met uh, Gary Green. So yeah. it was... Uh... <laughs> yeah, we, we were talking about this earlier, actually. I mean, because obviously we're massive fans of Gentle Giant. And luckily, last year we played at Baruno Festival mm. along with three friends. And they contained three of the original members from Gentle Giant. And um, yeah... Two of the original. Two members. now. It was three. Now. I it was two. Friends. Oh, okay. It's two friends. I was thinking three friends was a bit of a clue, but perhaps. Well, that's the name of the album. Yeah. Well, so. I know that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, we're He's privileged. A true fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm a half fan. But we're, we were privileged enough to um, meet Gary Green backstage, and obviously, we were sweating when he was watching us play, mm. because he's obviously the master. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. But he seemed to dig what we were doing, and that, yeah. that really meant a massive amount to us. Yeah, yeah so. it was good, man, because like, we, we were worried, well, I was worried anyway, things. Obviously, our track, Cockroach King, <laughs> is a big tip of the hat to Gentle Giant, and uh, I was worried that he might take offence to it or something, but um, he, he loved it. He was very supportive, and he, was, he shook our hand and was very happy, so mm. that's great. I love him. <laughs> can you can you tell us your <laughs> can you tell us your best gig or tour memory? Oh, that's, a t oh, that's, oh, a that's easy, man. That's easy. That's <laughs> today. <laughs> like like uh, no, in, well, oh, the, the, the best okay. thing that I've ever done was um, the uh, Progressive Nation at Sea Cruise. That was yeah. that, that can't be bettered. It was the best week of my life, and um, the I'll always remember playing on the on the second day of the cruise where by this point the ship was in the ocean you couldn't see land at all and uh, we were playing our first show this is like at 1 p.m in the afternoon and uh out on the pool pool deck so we were kind of on stage and there was a swimming pool and the ocean everyone's having fun and as soon as we started playing it was just it's, yeah it's an incredible indescribable experience <laughs> really i mean I think most of us would have actually gone anyway if we weren't invited to play. <laughs> so it's, it's just a massive privilege to be in the presence of so many great musicians. Mm. And it's, it's such a great atmosphere. I mean, you could just mingle with, with so many of your heroes whilst, yeah. whilst eating dinner or breakfast. And then we were lucky enough to play as well. Yeah. So it was yeah. unbelievable experience. <laughs> That's a pretty big uh, success. Do you think uh, progressive uh, music is becoming uh, cool and uh, trendy? Yeah, man. <laughs> L lucky for us. Because yeah. we'd be doing this anyway. So it's just, we're just kind of riding the, riding the coattails of uh, 
of those big bands, you know. So yeah. hopefully it will continue. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot of new uh, modern bands like Animals as Leaders and uh, Periphery, the Carnival as well, and they um, appeal to the younger fan base. But um, whilst playing amazing music, um, so yeah, like Charlie says, we, we're just jumping on their bandwagon, <laughs> trying to steal their fans. <laughs> now it is yeah. a good, it's a good sign for things to come. Yeah. Hopefully, um, the progressive scene will build and build in the near future. And what is your worst two-hour gig memory? Oh. 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 Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 